All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another video, and I guess you could say this is a reaction video. Yeah, just like last week with the Cowboy Bebop uh, photos that came out, I'm taking a look at some photos. I think that was on Monday last week, too, so it's like, look at this, is Monday going to be the, the day we get photos? I don't know, for things that we're looking forward to? Well, I'm, I'm at least looking forward to this. Uh, this is the first look photos for Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, which of course comes out in, I believe, in November. I think that's the same time as Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop. Uh, I am excited for this because it's the rebooted, of course, Resident Evil movie series. Uh, we had the Mila Jovovich one. Uh, but the video games are some of my favorites out there. Uh, of course, Village just came out, uh, which was, I thought, great. Um, so I am super excited for more Resident Evil. Hey, we even had the, the anime series that came out, which was okay. It was okay. That, that, that was about as far as I go. I'd say it was it was fine. Um, some good Leon stuff in there. Claire was kind of <clears throat> underused. And that's a shame because she's like one of my favorites. Uh, but hey, look, we got Claire here. I, try, I swear I tried to find an article that didn't spoil the pictures before I, I did this video. But this, this one picture I just couldn't get away from because everybody wanted to see what Leon looked like, I guess. So I already saw this picture. Obviously, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, so you got Leon. I guess let's go down. You got Leon played by the kid from Zombieland 2. I, want, I don't want to say kid because he's probably my age. But um, the, he's, he's, the, he's the hippie guy from Zombieland 2 if you ever saw Zombieland 2. Why am I saying zombie land weird? Zombie, zombie land. Um, and then you got Claire Redfield, of course, played by, um, she got the jacket and he, I guess he's got the, he even got the little blood on him. Um, I guess he's got the RPD, you know, suit on, um, or outfit, I guess. Uh, she's got the jacket. Uh, she's played by, um, I can't remember her name is Kaya something, but she was in crawl. She was great in crawl. Um, so I think that was a good choice for Claire. Not 100% sure about him because I haven't seen him in a lot of stuff, but it's not like Leon is a very like hard role. You just got to be a, you got to have boyish charms and you got to, you got to have beautiful hair. The hair is looking nice. It's not really Leon hair. So I'm a little upset about that. I mean, he could have got a haircut. Come on, man. Get it. I need the, you know, like this, this beautiful hair. No, uh, way, way, way more beautiful. Um, so, but yeah, the hair's looking good. I don't get me wrong. Uh, it just doesn't, he doesn't look like Leon. Like Leon doesn't have, at least he doesn't have the, the, the stash and the kind of fuzz on his chin until later, like until like Resident Evil, like six, I feel like. Um, but it doesn't matter as long as he's, he's good, I guess that's going to be a better betrayal than whoever played him in that fucking one Resident Evil movie. Um, the live action one. Admittedly, that guy wasn't terrible, but that guy was just like, he almost said, he almost played it like a meathead. Um, which I guess is accurate to how Resident, I mean, uh, how, uh, Resident Evil 6 portrayed Leon a little bit, so, whatever. Um, but whatever. Anyway, so you got, uh, these two. I I'm, I'm very iffy on, uh, Leon, but I think Claire looks good, even though her hair is not up in a ponytail, but I don't fucking care. It's not, not that big of a deal. Um, it really doesn't matter. Um, you don't need to go 100% accurate to the games, as long as you make an entertaining movie. Um, alright, so, should I read this shit? Or just get to the next picture. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. So, is there more pictures? Or, like, in this... Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. So, wait. All right. So, that's Chris. Okay. Is that Wesker? Because I think that's the actor... Because the actor playing him... I forgot his name. I think he probably said while I was scrolling down. Um, was um, the guy that played Dickon in Game of Thrones. I think that's him. Is that Wesker? Uh, where's the shades? All right, hold on. Hold on. Where's the shades? He better have taken them off because he went indoors or something. Even though I, that's bullshit. You should leave them on. But uh, I don't care. Um, and this is Jill. That's the girl that plays Ghost. Okay, not really Jill. I mean, again, like, I I get I get. I don't know. <laughs> It just seems like it's the actress. She didn't really do anything to make herself look like Jill. Which, all right. This is the one thing I'll be, uh, say about uh, Robbie and Mill, right? That's who plays uh, Chris. At least he has the costume. He looks like Chris right now a little bit. Even though Chris was clean shaven again. I don't know why nobody can get fucking rid of the facial hair, but whatever. Um, I, uh, I think he looks good as Chris. I mean, he looks like Chris from the first game. Um... I think at least, right? No, wait, hold on. Does he look more like Chris and Code Veronica? Hold on. I need I need to do some research. Research break. I just need to see uh, Resident Evil 1 Chris. I just want to see him. Yeah, no, he, he looks kind of like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no, no. 
There you go. That's Chris from Resident Evil 1. This is a remake. And look, he's got the shades on, by the way. Wesker, the fuck? Yeah, where's the beret? What? Ho, 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 I didn't even think about that. Where's the beret? She don't got a beret on. What the fuck is this? Where's the beret? At least put the beret on. Maybe she had it on and she loses it. She got some fucking guns, though. That's nice. Um, I, I just, uh, I don't know. All right. What, what does Chris look like in Code Veronica? I almost want to say he has the same costume on. No, he doesn't. He just has, like, some generic. Yeah, okay. It's not not exactly, no. Not even close. Uh, Code Veronica, I haven't played on a very long time, to be fair. Um, and who is this supposed to be? Is that supposed to be... Is that one of the other people? Is that, um... Uh, oh, fuck. What's his name? You find him later. He's dead. Wait, where's Barry? I think Barry's supposed to be in this, right? Wait, is Barry in this part? Oh, my God. I, I have to remember everything that happened in Resident Evil 1 now. Ah, fuck it. I'm not going to do that. All right, let's go back. Creepy as fuck. Previously described to... it. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Uh, IGN's second exclusive image for Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City features from left to right. Albert Wesker... Richard, A oh, Aiken, okay. Chad Rook, I've never heard of that actor. Aiken, okay, so it's Aiken. Uh, Jill Valentine, yeah. J Hannah John Kamen, that's her name. And Chris Redfield, Robbie Emile, okay. So I got that guy's name right. On the prowl in the Spencer Mansion, which Robert's previously described to us as being creepy as fuck in his film. Okay, well, that's good. Hey, Spencer Mansion should be. Um, is there more photos? Oh, what the fuck? Is that Lisa Trevor? What the fuck? Dude, that looks terrifying. Oh, that looks really good. And that's practical, too. Dude, if you had, you told me Lisa Trevor was in this, I would have immediately told you they'd do special effects. That is... That's that's pretty good. That's fucked up. They don't have the... All right. One thing I'll say. Oh, the hair coming out of the eye socket. That's... Ugh. Um, or I guess the... You know. Um, Lisa Trevor is a really fucked up character in Resident Evil 1. Um, I... I actually kind of like that. I, it's a little less grotesque. But that's still... If I saw that in real life, it'd fucking terrify me. One thing that they didn't get right, though. Immediately. This is Lisa Trevor. I'm not fucking losing my mind. Yeah, Lisa Trevor. Okay. And they even label the actress. Okay, good. There's a lot of Resident Evil monsters. Give me a break. <laughs> if, she, if, if this ends up not being Lisa Trevor. Uh, I don't see who else it would be. It looks like Lisa Trevor, but whatever. You never fucking know. Um, I... Uh, her mouth. Isn't Lisa Trevor's mouth like really fucked up? Like gaping like like it's open. I remember that being really fucking terrifying in the original uh, remake. Uh, the original remake. <laughs> um, let me see if I can find her. Um, is that the last picture? Alright, well we'll find that in a second. That's really, I actually really like that. Uh, at least the Trevor looks pretty good. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's not a good picture, but, uh... Let me go back. Let's see if I can find her. That's her later. I need to see the mouth. Isn't her, like, mouth really fucked up? Is that... She's got multiple faces. But, like, isn't one of her mouths, like, really fucked up looking? Yeah, there you go. That's it. Right there. That shit. That's terrifying. Alright, compare this. Here, let me get a... Let me get a photo... Compare this to this. I mean, again, not 100% accurate. But that's pretty good. Like, especially since it's practical. Uh, and you can, see, you can tell, obviously, it's like a face mask thing. So underneath is what's going to be the real terrifying shit. Um, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I like it. I, I like it. That That's my favorite thing I've seen so far. Everything else has been like, come on, you couldn't put a beret on. You couldn't shave your fucking stash and your little beardy. Um, who's playing Birkin, by the way? Oh, he's played by Neil McDonough. Is it, is... What? I just, I just realized, is fucking Barry not in this? Hold on, I need, I need to look up. I need, I need to, hold on. I need, I'm sorry, I need to see if Barry's in this. If they didn't put Barry in this, fuck this movie. I'm, I'm done. I'm not seeing it. Welcome. And he better have his fucking gun, too. Alright, let's see. See the cast. Uh, Ada Wong's in it. Okay. William Birkin. Sickly Mom. Oh, Sickly Mom's in it. Thank fucking God. I was wondering. <laughs> Sherry Birkin's in it. Uh, ben. I don't fucking care about. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Brad Vickers is in it. At least they put him there. Um, where the fuck is Barry? All right, no, this can't be right. No, this is this is wrong. How are you gonna put fucking all the other side characters in from Resident Evil One, Aiken and fucking Brad and all these characters, and then this can't be right. Hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> this must be a mistake. I I'm losing it. Oh my god. No, 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 no. What is this? Rosie Walker about casting and collaborating with. Yeah, he doesn't really look like Leon. Okay, so wait, so where's Barry Burton in the, this movie? Oh my god, I'm upset. I'm upset. Wait, what? What is this? The TV show. Wait, what the fuck? It says TV series. I'm confused. Um, in one big way. No fucking Barry. All right, I'm. Mm. You, you got some things right, and then you just fucking, just, you just shit the bed. Even the fucking, the Paul W.S. Anderson movies, right? Yeah, Paul, I don't want to get the wrong Paul Anderson. Uh, Paul W.S. Anderson movies had fucking Barry. You know, Barry was actually pretty cool. It was played by, um, Kevin Durand, I think that's his name. Um, who was, uh, who was the, who was the blob in X-Men Origins. And ha what happened to that actor, actually? I really liked him. He was in, a. Uh, he was in a few things. Anyway, he was really good. And they had a gun and everything. Magnum. What the fuck? Was it Magnum or Revolver? Whatever, that gun. Uh, here's the picture. Oh, yeah. Is actually is there any more pictures? Hold on. So that, that looks good. I like that. No, that's it. Okay. Yeah, because they only said... I didn't say anything about Lisa Trevor's. Hey, I'll give IGN this. It didn't say... And more. So, hey, it didn't spoil Lisa Trevor's. I, that was actually a good uh, surprise. Thank you. Uh, Strangers. Yeah, he did the Strangers. Um... Let me see. Because this is a bigger picture. Let's see. From head to toe. She looks good. She's got a shotgun. That's great. He has a pistol. He's holding it kind of like Leon. Um, This looks like... Oh, wait. Is Mr. X going to be in this? They better put some shit in this. Like, And it's better, this movie better be better not be like 80 minutes long. Because I, I want I want to see some cool shit with all of these characters. Because they're mixing one and two together. So they better not fuck around. This movie better be like... An hour, at least an hour, like fifty minutes long. That, that's that's the that would be a pleasure spot right there. Ooh, because uh, shit, you could probably uh, there's people out there that can speed run uh, Resident Evil One and Two in the amount of time it will probably take to watch this one movie. So, you know, I I'm very lukewarm on what I saw. Like last week with Cowboy Bebop, I actually kind of liked what they did because they kept accurate to a couple of the costumes at least. Um, not Faye, but that one I guess makes sense in this day and age um this doesn't make any sense to me like claire looks fine leon looks fine um costume -wise. i'm just talking about costumes but then like what the fuck oh, oh i didn't even realize this you just did this all right well that doesn't help though because can i full screen that i'm come on come on come on i need i need a better than that this is these the quality of these pictures are kind of shit too i want to say um but like you know chris looks fine but like jill and fucking like and Wesker, he might have the glasses at one point. But where the fuck are they right now? That's what I want to see. I want to see his face. He better be fucking, like, maniacal, too. He wasn't really fully maniacal, to be fair, in Resident Evil 1. That didn't come until Resident Evil 5, really. And I guess Code Veronica. Definitely Code Veronica. Um, but Resident Evil 5 is where he became a meme. <laughs> like, that's for sure. Um, I, uh, I'm a little upset. But I'm also... A little happy that they're at least taking it seriously in some fucking way where Paul W.S. Anderson's like, I just want to do some Matrix shit, <laughs> you know? She's going to do some Matrix shit in this one. It's in 3D this time. She's going to do some fucking Matrix shit, you know? And this one, at least they're like, yeah, it's going to be scary and spooky. And, and Lisa Trevor, can I get that? Pretty good. That's actually, that's actually good enough where I could see them doing, like, you know how, like, what is it like universal does like their haunted ma mazes or whatever is it universal it's somewhere i could see them doing like a resident evil focus one that'd be actually be kind of cool thinking about it. like just like lisa trevor and then like i could see fucking uh, uh if mr x is in this because i'm assuming we're going to be swapping back from spencer mansion and R rpd um i'm assuming the rpd's in there considering we have leon and i'm assuming this is like the basement of the rpd um I, don't, I have no idea anymore. I really, I don't know what to think of this movie. I guess it's going to be one of those things where I can't really judge it based on three pictures. 
I know, it's weird, but I can't judge it based on three pictures. Who would have thought? But uh, I don't know what to think right now from what I'm seeing because it's very hit and miss. What is the comment saying? Oh, there. I will actually do this thing called watching it before judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. I mean, I'm, I get, uh, looks like Louis. <laughs> I'm not even going to read it. They could at least try to make these actors look like their video game counterparts. Cutting slash lightning Leon's hair. Right? And shaving his face. Really? They couldn't do that? They get, Really, this guy's going to make probably some, I'm assuming a little bit of money, at least, on this movie. He couldn't shave this right here and cut this just a little bit? Just a little bit. I mean, again, like, if the movie's good, then it doesn't really matter. But, like, just for, just the look. Like, you couldn't look at the character and go... Yeah, maybe I should cut it at least a little bit, you yeah? know? Your hair will grow back. You're like 25, my dude. <laughs> like, look at you. You're gorgeous. There's no way you're not going to be able to grow that hair back. I'm like 55 and my hair grows back, so... At least I feel it. Anyway, there we go. That is uh, Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. First look photos. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I like the Lisa Trevor, though. I'm, I, I wonder how people are going to feel about the Lisa. Actually, I want to see the comments. Anybody talk about uh, Lisa Trevor? We have Resident Evil at home. <laughs> Shaving his face and isn't the point of using characters. I want to see anybody talk about Lisa Trevor. Because I thought that looked really good. Looks like a student or fan film. Carlos and Claire look ready for action. Uh, <laughs> anybody want to tell him? <laughs> actually, it would make a good Carlos, actually, for sure. Even though I don't think that's his... Uh... Whatever. Excuse me, but why does Leon over here there look like Carlos? Yeah. It's just bad casting. Well, maybe not bad casting, just bad makeup, I guess. Just fucking or nightmare, just bad head headdresser. Just shave your head. Not shave it, but you know, cut it. What the fuck? There's no Lisa Trevor comments. At least I'm not seeing one. I thought they did a really good job with that. I was, I'm surprised I haven't seen anybody talk about hey, it looks pretty good. I guess negative always overtakes positive. Uh, Leon is prettier than Claire. That's true, actually. No offense, but... Uh, yeah. Really like Robbie as Claire. Yeah, yeah, as Chris. Yeah, he looks good as Claire. That would be a little weird. Um, yeah, where the fuck is Barry? I'm really upset about it. I'm sure the director said, Yeah, we had to take make some cuts. Really, you had to make some cuts. You could put fucking Aiken and, and Brad in there. Which Brad, I'm glad, is in there. He's cool. Um, but, uh, like, really... Oh. oh, where's Rebecca? What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't just, I just realized. Where the fuck is Rebecca Chambers? Is she in the cast? Hold on. Fuck. No, that's Candyman. <laughs> I forgot to take that off. Um, where the fuck? Hold on. I'm sorry. All right. Maybe I just missed her name. Uh, okay. So you got Sickly, <laughs> you got Sickly Mom. Okay. Uh, yeah, William Birkin, but where's, um, what's her name? An Edberg. Okay, so she's in it. Um, oh, he's a truck. Oh, they put the trucker in. That's funny. Um, okay, cool. So the guy is like, nom, nom, nom. I like burgers. And then he crashes. Uh, Brian Irons. Yeah, you gotta put Irons in there. Oh, Donald Logue. That's actually a really good choice. Oh, yeah, I can totally see that for sure. But, like, where the fuck is Rebecca? No Rebecca either? No one's talking about Rebecca? Where's Rebecca? I'm upset. I'm upset. Wait, hold on. Let me show you my how I feel right now. I'll show you exactly how I feel. Uh, uh, everybody look away for a second. Here, here you go. Uh, where is it? Uh, here. No, that's not it. Wait, hold on. Give me a second. Wait, where is it? I, I found this clip before. Did I miss it? Hold on. Everybody look away. Look away. I'll tell you when you, to look back. Hold on. Let me see. What? Oh, oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I gotta put this. All right, all right, everybody, everybody, keep keep looking away, keep looking away. All right, all right. Uh, no, no, that's good. I'm upset. There you go. That's me. I'm upset. Anyway, that's it. Bye. <laughs>